a border city called Brownsville. It's recently seen a drop in the number of people illegally crossing into the US. Donald Trump, meanwhile, is in Eagle Pass, the Texan border town where Republican Governor Greg Abbott has defied the Biden White House by using state National Guard soldiers to detain undocumented migrants and erect borders. Very dangerous border. We're going to take care of it. Thank you. Americans named immigration as their top concern, beating out every other topic, including the economy and inflation. Some 61% of America's, Americans in a Monmouth survey listed illegal immigration as a very serious problem, with most respondents for the first time saying they support Mr. Trump's proposal of building a U.S.-Mexico border wall. That border was last crossed uh, last year rather by 2.5 million undocumented migrants. That's an influx that has overwhelmed processing facilities and pushed social services in major American cities to the brink. Our correspondent Tom Bateman filed this report from Eagle Pass, where authorities have been grappling with the issue. Searching in the shadows along the route of the Rio Grande, we've joined a night patrol searching a favoured landing spot for people who have made a perilous journey to reach the US. Staying out night and whatnot, because we're going to let the night shift now. Okay. This you Texas rancher correct. says last month no, hundreds of people read. swam and waded onto his land here, and we trace one narrow path in a global wave of the displaced. Well, there are clothes everywhere, signs of life. This is treacherous for people making their way into America. And Jilly, seven months pregnant, crossed the Rio Grande yesterday at 3 a.m. Her journey from Honduras's most violent city, gripped by gang warfare, began two years ago. I was holding hands with another pregnant woman when we crossed the river. The water was very cold and we were afraid of being swept by currents. I was so relieved once we made it to the land. Record numbers of people seen here last month have been crossing, driven by conflict and instability, drawn by the post-pandemic jobs gap in America. But in an angrily divided country, a broken system for dealing with immigration claims has become a major election issue. The town's former police chief told us the system is failing everyone. What's the situation? It's terrible. We need to get Biden out. That's it, plain and simple. We need to get Trump in there to, you know, be more forceful and, and uh, let our Border Patrol guys do their job. And Trump-style proposals are on full show. The Republican governor of Texas has sent state troops to the riverbank, he says, to deter migrants, although there are few signs of its longer-term impact. We watched as state forces stop to check federal patrol trucks, a challenge to Mr. Biden's authority at the border. This border path is now on the campaign trail, and America's issue with immigration is set to be a decisive one in the race for the White House. Tom Bateman, BBC News, Eagle Pass in Texas.